17 days in and the Utah treasure hunt has officially come to an end. A Draper man found the treasure chest this afternoon. Well, keep in mind that chest had $10,000 of cash inside of it and more than just Utahns were talking about it, of course, and searching for it. ABC 4's Julian Smuckler, Jillian Smuckler, excuse me, joins us in studio. Jillian, this treasure hunt gaining national attention. That's right, Emily Glenn. Back in June, two friends posted a cryptically written poem on Instagram, giving people clues about where that $10,000 treasure is hidden in Utah's wilderness. And through the power of social media, thousands of people near and far were determined to win it all. It just felt right. I woke up and I said, I have to go. I have to go do it again. <laughs> Yeah, it just that was it. Gut feeling. And it was that feeling that motivated Andy Swanger to keep looking for the hidden treasure. That treasure is ten thousand dollars cash. Okay, should we go hide this thing? Let's hide it. All you have to do is find it. Easy we enough, right? Well, not exactly. Right we completely underestimated you guys last time. You figured it out so fast, so we're going to make it a little more difficult this time. This is the second year David Klein and John Maxim have put on this treasure hunt. I convinced my wife to let me, uh, you know, bury money in the ground. <laughs> he was the only person in my whole phone that I could think of that was crazy enough just to put money in the mountain. But little did they know, a fun, safe activity during quarantine would go viral. We were literally responding to thousands and thousands of messages every day. And it's not just kids eager to join in on the fun. Professional treasure hunters, which I didn't even know was a thing, coming from out of state. They came from Hawaii and Atlanta and Florida and uh, Texas. But the lucky winner is from right here at home. Andy! <laughs> Andy found the treasure today up Hughes Canyon. Andy Swanger lives in Draper, and today he became $10,000 richer. So where did he find the chest? It was in a cave. I had planted a tree on top with a flat rock underneath. So I, was, I moved the tree and lifted the rock and I was, there's a box here. No freaking way. So I sent a picture to my wife instantly and I said, um, I think I found it. After over 15 hours of searching. We've probably been out five or six times. A lot of researching. We compared last year's to last year's clues to this year's clues and kind of changed our thought process and determination it was not easy it was uh i think yeah, most people's problem was they didn't go high enough right? they didn't go high enough everybody stopped short the 2021 utah treasure hunt has officially come to an end it's, it really is kind of a life-changing amount of money i think we can it's really gonna help us out a ton and of course the million dollar question is what now like nfl star tom brady said after winning the 2021 super bowl andy and his family are headed to disneyland reporting live in the studio jillian smuckler abc4 news